Sun is so nice. It already comes up at eight. Shines on the tent. Nights are still chilly, but um, yeah, the long days. It's really nice. Everything is almost standing here. Uh, a lot has to be cleaned still, though, because everything has been in the dirt and the mud flying around. So every cup and pot needs to be washed. But other than that, I'm back to normal and uh, excited to get back to work. So the tent already arrived on Sunday, so I got it up pretty quick. 
It's from a canvas camp and they're in Belgium. This is the Sibley Protec 500 and the 500 stands for five meters in diameter. It's pretty big on the inside and they've got a I'll put a link in the description you can have a look on their website. They've got a 400 which is a little bit smaller and then um, a 600 and a 700 and then you can also choose to have entrances on both sides so you have a pretty big tent. Um, yeah I'm really happy with it I mean it's it's been really nice to live in there. You know, last week really made me think about living outdoors again and everything that comes with it. Um, and I was reading the comments on the video and I appreciate all the nice words, really. But there's also a fair group of people who don't understand why I live so exposed and so vulnerable. Like here, everything open, facing the view, facing the wind, uh, with a thin roof. You know, but it's all about balance to me. I want to live in nature and I want to experience all of this, all of this beauty, which it is. It's most of the time beauty. I mean, we're talking about last week was the roughest side nature has ever shown here. But most of the time, like now, you know, I'm just enjoying the bird song. It's the beautiful views. It's a beautiful day right now. And I, when I make breakfast here in the morning, this transparent roof allows me to let me warm up in the sun. And I could build this stronger, I could have the metal sheets on there and I would be better protected, but it will be darker as well, you know. So it's all, it's really about this balance. And um, I like this sort of dialogue with nature. And it was rough last week and it was, hard to watch coming down the mountain here you know first I saw the solar panels then I saw the tent and I thought okay wow and then I saw the roof of the kitchen just lying up there and then only later I saw that the entire kitchen was in ruins you know so and that was hard to swallow and hard to watch and it was a rough night taking all the things from the tent into the cabin but I also got a thrill out of that. It was really this battle of nature when I tried to get this chair out and almost fell down because of the strong winds. It was a good battle, which I clearly lost. I mean, there was a lot of casualties, but... Then in the morning, I was like, okay, I hear you, nature. I, uh, I admire your force and... Uh, I'll clean it up, I'll build it better, I'll build it, build it stronger and you know, let's move on together. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, and other people might build this stronger, maybe more closed in, maybe away from the view. Um, but then you would experience in a lesser degree uh, all of this beauty, you know. Next year, when I'll be, we'll be in the cabins, it will be already different. I'm more secluded, I'm, I'll spend more time inside, especially in winter. And I won't experience some of those sunrises and sunsets and those winds and forces of nature. Uh, you know, but there will be other things, more comfort, will be more enjoyable, some more luxury. You know, there's other sides to it. But I think years from now, when I will look back at this time here on the mountain, if I'm honest, I think the first years will be the strongest memories because they were, will be the most adventurous ones. So, um, 
it's a mindset really you know if you are you living like this are you bracing yourself all the time or do you live with your face in the wind with your shoulders back towards the view towards all the dangers and all of the beauty you know you have to be built stronger but it, you'll get much more back to it as well so to me it's really an attitude and just finding the right balance for yourself you know uh, I, I get a lot of satisfaction and enjoyment out of living here and especially a day like this when I'm just working it's a beautiful day but you have to take a few punches now and then as well you know. Thank <laughs> you.
finishing the roof today. I'm gonna put those sheet metal uh, plates on, which I'd actually bought for the roof to sit under the stones. But that wasn't a good idea, so I've got them left over. Um, I put the wood on to have some extra weight on the roof and also visually because from yeah from downstairs you see very much you look into the, the chicken coop so it's nice to look at the at the recycled wood. Going. I'm good. Nice ride. Yeah. yeah huh? <laughs> it, it was kind of hard here because I, I don't have the right tires, you know. All right. Uh, but yeah, it, it was kind of muddy. Uh, just oh, like getting up there. Yeah, up here. Yeah, I need low so, gearing. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I put it just from Cerro Malana. I have the low gear. All right. And yeah, then the differential lock. But there, it was kind of hard. Yeah. Right. So you were just starting this business, or yeah, yeah. So wild fox adventures. Yeah, That's yeah. So I, I was kind of fed up with my corporate job, so I just left it. Uh, and yeah, uh, just started. I'm gonna go live with the website uh, nice. this week, hopefully. I have this one. I have a chimney, ah. rooftop tent. Chimney with a rooftop tent. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So the rooftop tent is a guy from uh, uh, Bagnolo uh, here. Oh, it's uh, locally down. made. Yeah, no, it's it's actually not locally made, but it's a local friend. All right, so it goes to all the
go down too.
it's nice to see the grass sprouting sooner underneath those stones which I just pulled put down last week I got too many jobs going on I was thinking to make a stepping stone path but that's another two days of work to balance every stone nicely so I'm gonna park that job clean up the stones here because I got the chicken coop got finishing the walls work on the foundation a little bit of everything is built up here now after the storm so that's good but too many things going on at the same time doesn't work So a little reminder of what I'm doing now starting so this retaining wall is in 
that's dried. Here there are the, the pipes right there. And I'm digging out this corner, so now I'm going to do this whole part. Coming days after that, probably I'll start probably here, but these are going to be shorter sections, something like that, because this wall is higher, yeah. like that. Sorry for the dirty drawing. <laughs> These ones, and right now I'm doing this one right there.
heavy work. Yeah, it's a lot of wheelbarrows of concrete. And the formwork gave in a little bit. So there's like two, three centimeters movement. So it's actually a bit thicker than the, the other wall. So that's not so nice. Eventually I can fix that because it will be cladded. But um, yeah, next time I have to build heavier formwork. So the boards and the braces are just in place and they can't move. I mean, it felt good at the beginning, but there's so much weight against this formwork. Concrete is so heavy. So, um, yeah. Thank you. 